Bowl 57. And this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Miami Dolphins and the Seattle Seahawks. And it comes your way next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. We came down to kick off in what should be an epic year, as it'll be the AFC champion Miami Dolphins taking on the NFC champions. Brandon Gunn here with Charles Davis, and for the Dolphins, what a turnaround under first-year head coach Mike McDaniel. I mean, this is a franchise that had not won a playoff game since the year 2000, but wow, I mean, they're AFC champions. Give them a big amount of credit for getting here, and how about this franchise in total? They have won the Super Bowl twice, but those were Super Bowl 7 and 8 in 1973-74. They are so excited to be back in the big game. Meanwhile, for the Seahawks, they are back again in the big game. It's their fourth appearance, but all coming since the year 2000, Charles. They've been in it three times total, right? Lost two prior, right? Lost once in Detroit to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Remember, Mike Holmgren was the head coach of that team. And then they lost that heartbreaker to the New England Patriots when Russell Wilson was picked off. But the win, oh, it was magnificent. That was back in the New York, New Jersey metropolitan area, Super Bowl 48. And remember, they just rolled over the Denver Broncos and Peyton Manning in that one. They'd like to have that kind of performance again in this one. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. And just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Given 12 yards there, the Dolphins have a first down. Here's Tua. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 23 yards on the play. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 down at the 31. A handoff running left is Mostert. And he's going to take this one down to the 25. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Throwing now is Tugavailoa. Throwing quickly to Wilson. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. One quarter done and three more to play here in Super Bowl 50. Welcome back to the date on the calendar. We circle every year. Super Bowl Sunday. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis here with you as we get set to begin quarter two. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Now first carry for their fullback. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Third and goal, a big play in this Super Bowl. Off the of play action, Tugum Iloa. And he is going to go down back at the 11-yard line. We have reached the two-minute warning. In fact, just under two minutes to play in the opening half of this year's Super Bowl. The kick by Sanders is good. And the opening drive for the Dolphins yields three. After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. So here come the Seahawks now for their first drive. And they're led out by their mobile quarterback out of West Virginia. It's Geno Smith. And he spoke very eloquently and passionately on media day about what a victory here would mean for him. He knows this just isn't any other game. This is the kind of game that stays with you for a lifetime. If there's anyone on this field tonight who's most ready for this moment, I think it's this man right here. Ready? On first and ten, Smith. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. And 
Instead, it's second down. On second and ten, Smith. And that's going to be caught downfield by Finn. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That one covers 29 yards, first down. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Sticking with Walker on second down. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. But the converse is, though, you've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand. And that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Smith. On fourth down, Smith. And they hit him as he throws, as this one's going to go straight down to the turf. Incomplete. Pete Carroll rolled the dice, but it didn't work out. And the Dolphins' defense is able to hold. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. Two and now on first down. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. To throw again on second down. Tua. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and ten. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Quadre Diggs. And the Seahawks are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. Now that was one I kind of saw come in charge. He had a free safety just hanging back there over the middle, waiting, and he saw that ball go in the air, and he jumped on it. And I don't know why the quarterback didn't see that. That was just your standard cover three, which means the free safety in the middle of the field, the two corners, and they divide the field in thirds. But when you have a free safety with range, like a good center fielder, he can go from side to side and make plays on the football as he did there. Throwing again on second and ten. Smith. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. He lets it fly for Lockett. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. On fourth down, ready to punt Michael Dixon. Back deep is Tyreek Hill. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And there will be time for maybe one final play before halftime. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we've one of the greatest performances of the year usually, but not here. Halftime of the Super Bowl is skipped, and we are on to the second half. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. On the return from his end zone, Godwin Igwebuke. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Seahawk offense set to go to begin this third quarter. And they trail here in the Super Bowl, but fortunately for them, Charles, very much still within striking range. Yeah, things didn't go exactly the way they planned in the first half. To me, they appeared to be a little bit tight, made a few errors they normally wouldn't. But of course, this is the Super Bowl, so things get a little bit heightened in that regard. But I think they have to feel a little fortunate. They're only down with that arm here starting the third quarter. 
pass run good for two. Here's second and eight. Stick it with Walker on second down. And they'll get to him quickly here as he'll get a yard, just a yard to the 22. I have to think a major focus of the halftime mix had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operated. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got launches deep. A jump ball, and this is caught. That's a gain of nearly 40 yards on third and medium to pick up the first. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. That is taken in by the tight end fan. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Quick penalty against him. Left side here, that's the tight end fan. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Two jump plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. Might we see our first touchdown of the game? Here's first and goal. Straight ahead, Walker. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Just one more quarter remains in the season-long race for the Lombardi Trophy. And we're back in the Super Bowl. Time to decide who gets to hoist that Lombardi Trophy as we begin the fourth and final quarter of action. Walker once more. They'll fight for the end zone, but they will stop him again. Shy of the goal line. The Miami defense trying to keep him out. They haven't let him in yet. Can they hold again here on third and goal? Walker is in. Touchdown, Seattle. Well, I think we both got to thinking and the team that scores the first TD may be the one to win this football game, and here we go. Our first touchdown, and it comes in the fourth quarter. Yeah, and it's a testament that both of these defense were able to hold the line this long, but now on the other side of the field, they've got to be thinking if they got it done, we should be able to punch one in ourselves. Jason Myers now with the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. So that drive goes eight plays. And it was Kenneth Walker finishing things off with a touchdown run. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. So Tua and the Dolphins down 7-3. to three. Two minutes, 30 seconds to play. A touchdown could win the Super Bowl as they've got a first down. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. Getting this out to the flat, Mostert. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. Looking to throw again on second down. Tua. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. So he's unable to complete it there and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. 
Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle. So they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. They'll get only three there, so it leaves them with a third and seven ahead. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Tua. And that is incomplete. But that incompletion reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Fourth down, fourth quarter. Here's Tua. He's going to let it fly. And this would have been intercepted if he could have gotten the feet in. Instead, it's incomplete. Boy, they really could have turned this one upside down. So now let's reset here, Charles. They do have two timeouts left, so they can stop the clock twice. This one's not quite over yet. No, and what you're doing on defense, you're going to use both timeouts, obviously. But you've got to call defenses are going to force the issue early, meaning you want that play over fast. You don't want to give them time to dance around in the backfield or run a wide sweep that will take off time. Blitz them, put pressure on them, make sure that play ends quickly so that you can go ahead and keep moving. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And going right back to Walker. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well, because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. It happened in the NFL. The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee, and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. Smith now to throw. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. Now Myers for the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. Five plays there on that drive. And it ends with a Tyler Lockett touchdown. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. Well, Charles, you remember their last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. But you understand why they did in this close game late. Now, though, the road back is even tougher. Yeah, no doubt about it. And it was fair to look back and say the fourth down was a moment where this one was decided. But as you mentioned, understandable about why they went for it. But, hey, a lot of credit to the guys on the defensive side of the ball. They knew they'd have to defend in that situation, and they got it done. Two are going to try and go quickly here. Tongue of Iloa. He's got to complete to Waddle. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And the Seahawks are the class of the NFL. Seattle wins the Super Bowl. For the victors getting to hoist that Lombardi trophy, you know, we've talked to guys that have done it, and they say there's no better feeling in sports. I don't know how there can be. The, the journey to get to this game is incredible. And then to finally break through and win it when all eyes are on this game alone because there's nothing else going on, that's just got to be absolutely amazing. That, the task, incredible. The accomplishment, forever.